Our fellows are key and critical to the missions of our department. We love having fellows here. They help us deliver outstanding clinical care. They're great teachers and they take part in our research missions. I think the clinical training here is exceptional. It's really one of the main reasons why I chose to come to this program, particularly from the critical care standpoint. We see a very broad range of pathology and we have a lot of autonomy at the bedside. We have lots of different ICUs. We have cardiothoracic, neurology, cardiac ICU, surgery, medical ICU. There's lots of opportunities to rotate through all the different units where you can see more subspecialty care. VCU does a really good job at helping fellows balance their own learning, but also teaching us how to be teachers and you know, kind of running the team with the residents, being mentors and role models for the residents. It's just really fun. The culture at VCU is definitely um, one of mutual respect. So all of the nurses, the care partners, the physicians, the physical therapists, you know, they all have a role in patient care and we all work together to provide exceptional patient care. What's special here is that the high acuity of illness, the complex cases, are a, a motivation to come to work every day. We have state-of-the-art of facilities that offer both standard and advanced endoscopy, advanced bronchoscopy, and interventional pulmonology. My fellow colleagues usually average around anywhere from 1,250 to about 1,500 procedures uh, yearly. Having that opportunity where our attendings kind of allow us from day one to be hands-on, you know, with their direct supervision, really allows us uh, to be an efficient practitioner uh, when we leave here. The complexity of the patients here um, and the patients that we get referred from other centers really gives us the opportunity to learn about different techniques and procedures that you wouldn't uh, normally see on patients who aren't quite as sick. Other places would not be able to offer them the treatments that we can do. Here at VCU, uh, we're actually encouraged to put our hands on the tools that we need to help our patients. Um, our attendings actually help us as the fellows uh, do that instead of us just watching them do it. My research interests are really in translational research. So I would like to bridge what's happening in the lab to what we're seeing on the clinical aspect of things. I'm now using my clinical mentors and my basic science mentor uh, to come together to form my own projects. So I'm able to do things uh, clinically, but now I'm taking my own clinical ideas to the lab to be able to figure out what we can do. My program director has gone out of his way to be able to build a schedule for me that helps me meet all my clinical duties, but still allows me to carry out research. The support really extends beyond my program of hematology and oncology to the Department of Internal Medicine overseeing all the fellowships. If we are presenting at a conference, if we have a paper get accepted, just knowing that we are able to go to those conferences is a motivation in itself to be able to carry out the research to get there. So what I've liked with the outpatient clinic that we have, the Ambulatory Care Center, is that we have multiple specialties in one building and on one floor. And so I can pull those other providers just, you know, in the hallway and ask them a quick question and therefore provide a more holistic care for the patient. In the future, I can use that, like when I got into the real world outside of VCU, I can still pull from that knowledge that I gained from hearing the nephrology talk about renal effects from diabetes or hearing the cardiologist talk about how diabetes will affect cardiac output and function. So therefore, I can then provide my patient better care. As a geriatrics fellow, um, I not only practice at VCU, the main campus, I also go um, to a satellite campus called Complex Advanced Health Management Center, which takes care of geriatric and complex care patients. Um, and we have specialized social workers and care coordinators Having all of these resources available helps me focus on the patient and my learning and all of that I should do as a physician. The VA here is um, the largest in Virginia and caters to a lot of smaller VAs across Virginia and then in neighboring states as well. This may be 20 minutes from our main campus. It is a large tertiary center um, and so we get a lot of transfers for specialized services um, including cardiology, interventional cardiology, interventional radiology, 
Um, and from surgery side, it is a poly trauma center. The faculty here and the faculty at the VA work closely together. On some occasions, the faculty here have actually rounded with us at the VA. Um, so just kind of making sure that we all have the kind of the same model and how we do things. So I think it's a, there's a lot of collaboration between the two. We as fellows get to have our own patients that we see on a continual basis. You get to have build that patient rapport. Also at the VA, um, if you're interested in research, um, there's a lot of faculty doing research there. Um, they are able to get you connected. You get, you're able to jump on projects. We really want for you to find your passion and for us to help you succeed in whatever area of medicine you choose. And we really take pride in the fact that you will be able to go out and handle whatever comes your way as part of your career.